就近三湾区的各位观众朋友，大家好，我是陈宁，我是依云。你现在收看的是北美红星卫视 T V H S 一点九频道。我告诉你哦，这是一个非常优良、非常棒的电视台。是的，这是我来北美发现的一个非常正面的频道。不管你是合家观赏，或者是你半夜不小心失眠了，记得打开 T V H S 一点九频道。会让你收获满满。有机会，我们会常常来上这个频道，记得一定要收看哦。OK， 等你哦。Yes。您现在收看的是北美红星卫视 TVHS 一点九台。奇妙的人生，奇妙的命运，让我们一起找到生命的意义，揭开灵魂的秘密。欢迎收看今天的《命运真奇妙》，我是克拉拉。啊，今天在我们的节目当中呢，我为您邀请到的是 Palato School of Hypnotherapy 的这个执行长 Dorothy Tile 来到我们的节目当中，要教我们情绪释放的技巧哦。我想我们在现在压力很大的生活当中，的确需要一些我们自己在家里就可以使用的情绪的释放的技巧。所以，我们现在就来欢迎 Dorothy。Hello, welcome, Dorothy. Thank you, Clara, for having me on. Yeah, we、well, really enjoy having this time with you. Yeah, I know. I'm so happy because you were here before, and those episodes were very popular. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, but today we're going to talk about this thing is called EFT, right? Yes. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. But before we start with that topic. Uh, I want to start with you know to talk about what is emotion, because this technique basically is for releasing the negative emotion. That's exactly right. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So, can you share with us what is emotion?、Yeah. That's a really good question.、Uh, emotion is、uh, what we're made of, actually.、Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes emotion is love. Yeah, that's right. And、uh, those are the emo. Love is the emotion. Positive.、Uh, right. Compassion、yeah. is the emotion. Um, pleasure is an emotion that is very healthy. That's right. That that、uh, that that helps us be healthy.、Mm -hmm. Anger is an emotion. Fear is an emotion.、Um, anxiety is an emotion, so to speak.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, those are the those are the emotions that do something to us. Those are the emotions that、uh, can create illness and pain. So emotion is we we live it, 24 hours a day. Even in our dreams, we have emotion, don't we? Yeah, that's right. But in that case, since we are born with emotion, right? That's right. Why is this important to release negative emotion? Because negative emotions overall、uh, will cause us to develop disease,、uh, cause us to experience. Physical pain, cause high blood pressure,、mm. cause、uh, adrenal fatigue. You know, our adrenal glands are pumping when we're in fear or when we're in anger. The adrenal glands are pumping a great deal of adrenaline into our bodies, that causes many things, but causes uh, the uh, pancreas to produce too much insulin, and、uh, now we have too much glucose in our bodies. And the average person, I don't think. Realizes what that kind of chemistry can do to us. It it uh, it um, it causes our bodies to become weaker, and oftentimes it presents disease. Yeah, but when you talk about that, maybe I think some people who are watching this don't really agree. Why you know those emotion will affect our our body? Yes. Yeah.、Uh, let me let me see if I can explain that a little bit. Uh, negative emotions, like I'm not saying that some anger、uh, isn't justified. Sometimes it is, but、uh, fear. People who live in fear all the time are people who are always watching, always looking over their shoulders, always afraid that something's going to happen.、Um, people who have children sometimes and, and will will say they're afraid something's going to happen to their child. Exactly. So they keep their anxiety level way up here, and and how do we relax? How do how are we calm? How can the chi in our body be 
harmonized if fear is always present, if anxiety is always present. And so uh, science, medicine is now looking very closely at all of these things and has for a long time. But people who have high blood pressure, for example, when you go to the doctor, the doctor will say, well, uh, what's, what's going on in your life? What's troubling you right now? What are you worried about? And, and because they will look at the high blood pressure as not just being a physical uh, problem, but often an emotional one. That's right. Um, you know, as far as I know, a lot of people, they are actually indulging their emotion and without even knowing it. For example, they can be mad at whoever is cutting them in front of the car. Yes and they get mad and their blood pressure starts to you know, become higher and they don't even know. But maybe later on that build up the high blood pressure mm -hmm. is because of the original bad emotion. It's exactly right. Not only that, someone cuts me off on the freeway and I'm angry that someone cut me off because I had to hit the brakes and it scared me. Mm -hmm. And now I'm angry and, and I don't let that go. I'm driving down the freeway another 10 miles, I'm so angry. I know that kind of energy, or what do you call it? Yes. Chi, right? Yes. Where we mend it. Changes the chi, doesn't it? Yeah, because you feel like, you know, usually how I feel is I feel like chi is like a stuck, ah, stuck there. Exactly. Like blockage. Stuck. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. that kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason we want to talk about this technique is because it's important to release that negative energy. Well, which, you know, we have to go to, which, which do I prefer feeling inside me? Do I prefer anxiety and worry? Do I prefer that? Or if I think of the face of someone I love and that, emo that soft emotion is there, which of those two emotions do I prefer and which one is healthier for me? When you talk about that, I thought, thought about my son. I feel like, yeah, I start to smile. You do, don't you? Yeah, yes. you start to create some positive emotion. That feels very good. And isn't that, doesn't that feel like it's healthier for your body? Exactly. Healthier for your heart? Mm -hmm. You know, if we think about this for a second, uh, anger. You know, we're very angry at something. And we feel that anger. And it would be like if we could see our heart when we're very angry, it would probably look like a rock. Yes, yes, that kind of feeling. Yes, and yet when we think of someone we love, the face of someone we love right here smiling at us and our and, and we could see our heart it would probably look like a heart smiling and i feel like a heart is like a cotton candy yes it's like, like a imagine, melting but imagine a smile on 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 your heart but it's your heart that actually is smiling hmm. if you think about that right now hmm. imagine that you can see your heart and it's smiling what do you do when you when you when you feel like your heart is smiling, you have a smile on yeah, your face. Yeah, exactly. My clients do that. Mm. And so, which do I prefer? I prefer to have a smile on my face rather than you know, like this all the time. Because the positive emotion not only uh, make you feel good, it exactly. also produce some good uh, energy or some good um, good chi. Chi. Mm. Yeah, that's great. And then there's no blockage in the chi. That's right. So uh, let's take, take a break first. All right. So we talk about the technique of releasing the negative emotion. How to release the negative emotion.在这新的一年生计食品中诚地产服务湾区十多年 William Chen Joyce Huo 有最好的地产及贷款服务 
William Chen 这一次锅，以忠诚的服务态度，能在最短的时间内为您争取到最好的价钱，让您买房卖屋都安心，为您免费提供房屋估价及市场分析。详情请致电四零八四零九五六八八四零八四零九五六八八。欢迎您有兴趣的人士加入我们的优秀团队。infi biz infi biz 耶、yeah! ！老婆，你又在买股票了。老公，你有没有听过 I N F I 打 B I Z？ 那是什么？在致富证券的网站，你可以找到各大银行新上市的 C D， 还有 I P O 新上市的债券。新上市的 I P O 的债券和 C D？ 怎样？你再也不能说我只会炒股票了吧？不愧是我的好老婆，还会分散投资风险呢。旧金山湾区的朋友，大家好了，我是台湾的江维忠。在这个蛇年当中，先预祝大家官运亨通，财源滚滚，桃花那个朵朵开了。更祝大家在蛇年当中，一定每一天要锁定我们的红星卫视，让你财运无法抵挡。各位北美红星卫视的观众们，你好，我是 Farmers 保险经纪 Emily。在新的一年，祝大家十二年新大运，然后呢，万事如意，平平安安。谢谢，请你们继续收看北美红星卫视。回到命运真奇妙的节目，我们现在就要让 Dorothy 来教我们这个 EFT 哦，这个情绪释放的技巧到底是要怎么做的。Okay, so Dorothy, I was just telling our audience, you know, now we really have to start what we're going to talk about today. The EFT. What's the EFT stand for? Emotional freedom technique. Emotional freedom technique. Yes, those emotions that we were talking about earlier:、mm -hmm. fear, anxiety, anger, hate. You know,、mm -hmm. these are the kinds of things that, or grief, or grief. Yes,、mm -hmm. um, these are the kinds of things that will、um, affect us in a negative way. Exactly. Right. And so, emotional freedom technique helps us、uh, free ourselves、uh, from those emotions that will do something to us rather than for us. So, what's the theory? You know. Well, the basic. It's really based in. Acupuncture. I know it's a lot of tapping. Yes,、right? a lot of tapping. Ta、uh, acupuncture meridians,、mm. and so、um, one one spot is here.、Uh, there's one here. There's one on the side of our eye. One under our eye. One under our nose. One on our chin. One on the, the collarbone, collarbone, and and one under our arm, about four inches down from the armpit.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, and then it's language as well. It's it's、uh, what we say, words that we say, along with that. That creates a healing. That creates that creates a a, a, a free flowing chi. So what you are saying is, when we tap those pressure points, yes, it helps the chi. Yes, can flow smoothly. Exactly. Well, why would someone go、uh, go to an acupuncturist、mm. if they have pain or if they have an illness? They're they're putting needles in to cause the chi to to、uh, flow perfectly. Mm -hmm. Isn't that true? Yeah, that's right. Yes. But right now, I know at school you you de develop a new system called、yes. Gem EFT. Gem EFT. That Gem stands for G E M stands for Guided Empathy Method、mm -hmm. for Emotional Freedom Technique. And as the practitioner, when I'm talking to someone, I have empathy for where they are. I have empathy that they're going through this. And in that empathy, I understand what the client is going through. And and as I'm saying something, the client repeats it, and it, and it begins to change、uh, that person's perception of themselves. It begins to change the subconscious belief system, and I think that people will will in two or three minutes often、uh, feel relief from something. Yeah, I think probably you know our audience probably don't believe or don't think that will really work. So now we really have to show them how to do this next. Technique. Yes. So everyone at home or whenever they have some、A、absolutely yeah emotional you know、uh, attack can、yes. I say that way yes so they can use that right away to release、mm -hmm. that、uh, negative emotion exactly so do I have the honor to let you apply the technique on me well I'm not sure would you, <laughs> would you do you have an issue oh oh everyone what, does what's,、uh, everyone everyone does. everyone does no matter how spiritual you are so、yeah. that's exactly right so we're human beings. Exactly. We react to the world around us.、Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes we act from a very loving place, sometimes we we'll respond, and other times we react from a negative place. So tell me, what, what's a, an emotion that you experience that you recognize isn't healthy for you? You know, for me, you know, like, for example, at home, I usually worry about my family, my son. Yes. You know, I'm afraid, you know, you know, I, I believe all the moms, they worry if their son will get into some bad things, if they are okay for them, not wrong with him or something like that. Yes. So that when I think about it, I say, okay, I'm not wrong with him. So, so, so your worry, your yes. worry that you have about him produces anxiety. Yes. Fear. So my, I think the emotion I hold is against this issue is anxiety. Yes. And worry. Yes. So right now, as we're talking. I want you to think about your son for a moment. Mm -hmm. And when you think about him, maybe he's home, uh, but think of him at school, mm -hmm. when he goes to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to go to work, you're doing whatever, but you think about him in school. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and some worry starts. Yes. Okay, and some anxiety begins. Right. So if you think about that right now, tell me on a scale from zero to 10, where would you place that anxiety you have about him? Pretty high, probably six. Six. Even now, I think about that. Yes, of course. So let me take you through this process and see what happens. Sure. And I wonder, uh, whoever is watching this, can just do that with us. Well, yes, absolutely. And if you have different issues, please just change, uh, change the, the words. The words we are talking about. Okay. So everyone, just follow us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what I'd like you to do is hold your left, your right hand. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and I want you to tap right here on the side of your hand. Okay. Now, I know that there are many acupuncture points mm -hmm. here, but we're, we're going to use three or four fingers and get them all. Oh, okay, so four fingers. Yes. Okay. Then, then I'm going to have you uh, tap all the places I showed you sure. earlier, and we will say some words. Okay. So even though, even though I have anxiety about my son. I have anxiety about my son. Because I'm his mother. Because I'm his mother. <laughs> I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. As a mother, I have anxiety about my son. As a mother, I have anxiety about my son. And because I'm a worrier. Because I'm a worrier. Yeah. I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. Even though. Even though. I have this issue. I have this issue. Of anxiety. Of anxiety. When I think of my son when he's not around. When I think about my son when he's not around. Where I can't see him. I can't see him. Mm, I deeply and completely. I deeply and completely. Love and accept myself. Love and accept myself. This anxiety that I have, tapping right here on the uh, top of your eyebrow. Okay. Yes. This anxiety I have about my son. This anxiety about my son. And right here in the corner of your eye. I have anxiety when I think about my son. I have anxiety when I think about my son. Under your eye, I worry about him. I worry about him. Mm -hmm. And under your nose, I worry about him all day long. I worry about him all day long. I want to say something. When I do this, I start to kind of breathing. I know. Yeah. yeah. And so when I think about my son, when I think about my son, and when I have anxiety when I think about him, when I have anxiety when I think about him, I wonder if that's important for me to do. I wonder if that's important for me. I wonder if anxiety is healthy for me. I wonder if anxiety is healthy for me. And under your arm. But I'm his mother. But I'm his mother. All mothers worry about their child. All mothers worry about their child. I wouldn't be a good mother if I didn't have anxiety. I wouldn't be a good mother if I don't have anxiety. Oh, I, I wouldn't be a good mother if I didn't worry about him. Oh, I wouldn't be a good mother if I don't worry about him. Mm -hmm. I have to worry about him to prove that I love him. I have to worry about him to prove I love him. To me. To me. I have to prove to myself that I love him. I have to prove myself that I love him. Yes, and, and so that's why I have anxiety. That's why I have anxiety. And I have to have it. I have to have it. Yes, because that proves to me that I love him. Because that proves to me that I love him. Or not. Um, maybe not. I love him anyway. I love him anyway. I always love him. I always love him. I don't need anxiety to prove that. I don't need anxiety to prove that. I don't have to worry about him to prove to myself that I love him. I don't have to worry about him to prove that I love him. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry. I, I will think about him during the day. I will think about him during the day. And I also know. And I also know. All of the days that I've worried about him. All of the days I worry about him. He's always come home. He's always come home. And had dinner. And had dinner. And gone to bed. 
And come to and bed. And it's just fine. And it's just fine. And I worried for nothing. And I worry for nothing. Mm. So I don't think I'll worry anymore. I don't think I'll worry anymore. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to prove to myself that I love him. I don't have to prove uh, myself that I love him. I do love him. I do love him. I always will. I always will. Mm. Stop for a minute. <gasps> Just take a nice deep breath. That feels very different, but uh, I'm going to share that with our audience later. Okay. Uh, but I want to I ask you now, mm. uh, or tell me in a few moments, mm -hmm. where you'd place yourself on that scale from 0 to 10. Sure. So, I feel very different, but after the break, I'll tell you how the change is. After the break, I'll tell you how the change is. After the break, I'll tell you how the change is. Genius Academy will help make your children more well-rounded while giving parents a complete educational experience. 让我们和你的小孩子一起成长 and help them to reach success. 来自台北的古典玫瑰园要给你品味美味人情味台式减餐及饮料只要九块九毛九独家汤头火锅十块九毛九元起最爱下午茶四人份只需二天灾人祸不可预测千金难买早知道你有保够了吗我是 让您在保险上面可以省钱、省时跟省麻烦，请今天就致电五一零三六六二六五七。右臂肾全新第二代合家欢高画质卡拉OK机震撼上市了，合家欢BM两千内建2TB硬碟，有三万两千多首歌曲
and and uh, and you'll feel that chi just become fair, uh, just harmonized. So I don't know if uh, anyone has participated with this process. If you do, I'm sure you will feel the difference. Without a doubt. Yeah, without any doubt. So you know, next time when you have some emotional, you know, attack, please just. You can practice by yourself. Yeah. So at this point, Dorothy, I want to ask you. You know, I know you really contribute yourself, devote yourself to this um, technique and all the healing method, especially the emotional freedom, freedom technique. technique yes. So, why do you want to do that? I want to do it because I want people to know that they have the power to heal themselves. Mm. By our thoughts, we can create a harmony inside us. That allows whatever it is within us that knows how to heal us to work. Mm -hmm. And so, just recently, I read a book by Anita Morjani who wrote a book called um, "Dying to Be Me." Mm -hmm. and it's really about a near-death experience. If you've ever, if you know anything yes, about of that, course, yes. where people <clears throat> are very ill and somehow they they leave their bodies. Yes. And her whole experience. Well, she was dying and was really almost dead of cancer throughout her body. We had a near-death experience, and in that moment of what I will call oneness with everything, mm -hmm. she re realized why she had cancer. Oh, so she had cancer before she, you know, she went totally. to that experience. She died of cancer, okay. had a near-death experience, mm -hmm. and in that experience, uh, she was told that it wasn't her time, she had to go back into yes. her body. And she did, and with and because she had an understanding, because she changed all of the emotions that she was living, all of the anger, all of the fear, all of those things, she changed all of that. Went back into her body, and the cancer within four weeks was totally gone. That is a true story. It's a true story. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I think of that, that, do we need to have a near-death experience to heal ourselves? We don't. Right. And this, this process of tapping and, and saying the words that will help heal us changes that, that um, life force within us. It chi, cleanses it. Chi, right? Chi. Mm -hmm. And it cleanses it and harmonizes it. And when we're not carrying emotion, mm -hmm. um, then, then we can be healthy. That's very powerful words, especially those who are based on the uh, true story, right? Absolutely. Yeah, but I want to really thank you for coming to our show today. This has been a great pleasure for me. Thank yeah. you for asking me. And also me. heal me, you know, on my own issue. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Look how beautiful you look now. Well, we're today very thankful for Doris to come and share this technique of emotional release. You may find that from the beginning to now, my voice and tone have changed. If you are following me and try this technique with me, you will feel that you are more calm than before. I hope that today's technique will help you. If you have any emotional problems in the front row, you can use this technique to change your negative emotions. I want to thank you all today. 今天的观赏，如果你对今天的节目有任何的呃意见的话，欢迎你写信给我 ，Clara at tvhsusa.com。那最重要的是，不要忘记，我们下周六晚上九点，同一时间锁定我们红星卫视一点九台，让我们相约在命运真奇妙。我们下周见喽！各位观众，大家好，我是克拉拉，现在就我来告诉大家本周星座运势。本位星座有摩羯、天平、母羊跟巨蟹座。摩羯座的朋友，本周你适合在工作上寻梦踏实，感情有恋人温柔的对待。不过你要注意过度花费造成的现金短缺哦。天秤座的朋友，新工作契机的到来，感情则要注意冷战造成的伤害。本周掌握你已经有的机会，才能让你的好运延续哦。母羊座的朋友，工作在乏味当中度过。感情你需要找一些共同的乐趣才能够增温。本周你适合海外的旅游，让你能够带来新的气息。巨蟹座的朋友，你的工作忙碌而造成你的思绪有些混乱，你的感情则因为海外的事物而运气提升。本周请调整心情，因为冲动而做下的任何决定哦。固定星座有金牛、狮子、天蝎跟水瓶座。金牛座的朋友，工作上注意小人闲言闲语的重伤，感情在旅行中有异国恋情的机会。
，本周你需要有男性的贵人帮助下，才能顺利的度过。狮子座的朋友，你的工作当中同事相处融洽，感情在两难的抉择当中取得平衡。本周你需要学会放弃，才能够有重生的力量哦。天蝎座的朋友，事业上请别在成功前一秒放弃，感情要采取被动才能拥有幸福。本周你要小心思虑过度造成的失眠。水瓶座的朋友，工作上如鱼得水，得心应手，感情上柔情的公式将能获得芳心。本周你的贵人来自长辈哦。变动星座有双子、处女、射手跟双鱼座。双子座的朋友，工作上不要让不切实际的幻想阻扰了你努力工作的心。你的感情渐入佳境，请你好好的踏实努力，才有成功的可能。处女座的朋友，工作上需要适当的休息，才能走更长的路。感情要避免陷入控制对方的模式。你的本周有小偏财运哦。射手座的朋友在投资跟房地产上面有一些调动的现象，感情在旅行当中增温。不过你本周要注意压力过大的问题哦。双鱼座的朋友工作上想得多，做得少，感情由被动化为主导。本周维持财富的稳定是你一大的生活重心哦。您现在收看的是北美红星卫视 TVHS 一点九台